The quotation of Jesus on the cross of Psalm 22 is a prime example of the value of lament. Here we have the Son of God who knows the overall plan of redemptive history. He knows what's going to happen, and yet the pain of the moment causes him to quote this lament psalm and say, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And what that does is it helps to show us that the emotions of feeling abandonment, even though you know the arc of what God is going to do, are still real. And we still have to deal with those. And so many Christians think that because I feel this, therefore I shouldn't talk to God about it. And so therefore many uh, Christians don't have a category for complaint. What it means to humbly and biblically take our sorrows to the Lord and say, God, I don't understand why, or I feel like this, even though I know that it's not ultimately true, it feels true in the moment. Grief isn't tame. And lament helps us to navigate through this complicated arena of our emotions and allows us to open our hearts to tell God what we feel. The reality is, silence is a killer when it comes to our spiritual life. And lament opens the heart, it opens the voice to tell God what's really happening inside of our souls. In the same way that Jesus cried out and quoted Psalm 22, I encourage believers all the time, if you don't know what to say, just quote the lament psalms. And oh, how many of them have become my own words as I've said to God things that are right in the Bible in order to help me move, not to stay in my complaint, but to move to trusting and hoping in his goodness.